Hello, friends and fellow farmers. All right, let's get downstairs and see uh, what it holds for us today. We went had to sleep, so hopefully some stuff's happening. Oh, what's going on here, Oma? Hey there, what should I do? Ah, hmm. You done much fishing lately? It's a pretty nice way. Well, I need a fishing rod, bud. I need a fishing rod. Let us go and run over here and see uh, what's going on. I don't know if there's going to be anything yet. What time is it? In the morning? Okay, that's reasonable. I'm, that's fair. Yes? Oh no, I don't want to sell anything. Okay, so I'm going to have to... Uh, I need some cash to get this uh, beautiful thing. I got 36 coins, but... Excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> and we'll go down here. So hopefully what we'll find is that uh, some stuff has respawned. Or... Um, no, nope, not yet. What is this, all this about? It looks like it's just coming in. Interesting. So I'm wondering if... Uh, oh, there we go. We can pick some of that, pick some of that. Is this some grass? All right. That's going to take a little while, I think, to come in. Oh, this tree, <laughs> this lovely tree here has come back in. Uh, let's grab ourselves an axe. Oh. There we go. And let's wall up this thing down. Okay, and we'll go check out if there's anything new, I guess, over down by the beach. So I need the net, but it does make me feel like I'm going to have to wait a little bit. That's interesting. Uh, I wonder if I can use my pickaxe at all around here. Probably not, I'm going to guess. Oh, hello, we got a shell. Uh, you never know. Okay, let's give it a try. Uh, I can definitely... Uh, these might be breakable. Oh, these are. Yeah, okay, perfect. Yeah, there we go. So that's going to give me chalk and stone. Alright, excellent. I definitely see some bugs there that we're going to... We're going to need to get that bird net sooner than later. Can I hit this stuff? No. I can touch the ground, but it's not going to do anything. Uh, that's not going to do anything. This stuff... Yeah, no. Nothing happening there. Nothing happening there. Nope, that's nothing. Let's grab shell there. Okay, here we go. Here's some... Oh, hold up, kid. There we go. Here's some stuff. So it'll be interesting to see how much sort of stuff there is to do each day. Um, am I able to... There we go. Hit it from this side, I guess. Let's wall up that and vacuum these up. Zip, zip, zip. And I guess the idea up here is that you can... I don't know. Well, I wonder what the idea is up here, actually. You can be able to go fishing or something? Hmm. Okay, nothing but fishing. All right, so I think we're good there. Um, again, no idea how quickly stuff respawns in here again. And I don't think there's going to be anything here, is there? Nope. Those are all, and this, these plants are not... No, I'm not actually trying to smash them, but I just want to see if they were gatherable. Okay, so I think that's kind of us for here. Now we'll see if we learn any new crafting things, maybe. See, that tree is back. <laughs> you know, I will 100% just take this easy tree then. Because it seems like it's going to take a bit to get any more other resources here. Um, okay, let's go in and see what's going on. See if uh, Sally has anything new. Oh, hey, I'm kind of in the middle of a thing. Come back later, yeah? Okay, so I'm going to make, make four planks. Then I'm going to make... I made one shovel, so I'm going to sell that. And then... Uh, yeah, it's interesting, the idea of, of having to... that it, yeah, I can't just, like, maybe hit X and have the tool uh, stow and unstow or something. That seems like, like yeah, very stardew, but that seems like a positive solution to... Like, I get the idea that you don't want to axe it all the time, but instead of... Um, yeah, it's, it's a bit strange. The, uh, the, but again, these things are subject to change, right? So, who knows? 
early access is interesting because you get to observe the process of uh, a game designer figuring out what works, what doesn't work, what do they want to keep, that kind of thing. Which I quite like, that part of the process. Now, yeah, okay, so we need a lot more trees to come in here. So it's good we planted a bunch. These stumps, I don't know what they do. <laughs> do I... Oh, you know what? It never occurred to me. Can I dig this stump out? Maybe that's the thing. Let's do that. Um, okay, and we'll put our shovel... We'll use one of our shovels. Oh. Hello. Okay, no, I didn't want to do that. Oh yeah, okay, cool. You can dig the stump out. Alright. It's not exactly precise. It's a bit weird. Like, how do I... I guess you gotta be kind of on the other side of it there. Right there. Okay. Huh. Nice. Alright. Well, that's a few extra pieces. See, that I would have sworn was this. Okay, now this will be... there? Yeah, there we go. Okay, and then we'll come and... Okay, so that tree has grown back again already. <laughs> when did it do that? I, uh, that, that's okay, so that one's messed up, but again, I'll take it, I think, at this point. Because I just want to get gathering bugs and fishing. But that does indicate, um, like, I'm curious if there's it, what I need to do at this point. Or what more, more to the point, I guess, what can I do at this point? Which, um, okay, so let's dig that, and then we're going to put, oh, I got a worm? Oh, which I'm probably going to need for fishing. Oh, interesting. So there's a fair number of worms and clay and stuff. So I guess we do want to dig stuff and then... Can I just dig the same spot over and over again? Or does it change? Just out of curiosity if my luck is uh, randomized to the spot or is it to... Um, hmm. No, it seems like it might be the, the spots themselves. I don't know. Okay, well let's uh, let's fill these in. Actually, let's um, get our little bags of. Uh, oh, those were conifers. Oops. Okay. I see. I didn't think those were trees I had dug up previously. Um. Yeah, I thought they were just bags of like grass seed or something. And then I will cover these up. There we go. Because like this here... Did that give me anything? And then I come here and it is a... Uh, it's a nothing. Oh. Okay, that's odd. What? Yeah, weird. Okay. It's, I, I'm intrigued. I, I like, again, uh, picking at these systems and trying to understand them a little bit more. Um, yeah, I don't know if this was just like, this kind. This tree was the kindness tree that was just left there. I am curious, is it like, it, does it literally just respawn as soon as I head out of frame? No, no, it's got to take longer than that. Okay, I don't, oh right, I had all these things because I was going to plant more flowers, but that didn't manifest. Okay, well, we got all the stumps, that's the main thing. That's the big thing. Um, I guess I could have dug the stump out over there, but I'm not going to do that. Okay, um, what do we have then? Well, not we have 21 wood. I guess we could come and... Uh, let's craft up some more things here. Okay, um, we'll do seven, sure. That'll get me two shovels. Oh, three shovels. Perfect. So we got like four shovels, which would be 100 and... 46 or something like that. I don't remember. So we get a little bit of a uh, little bit of spending cash here Let's See if we can buy ourselves. Well, no, we're not gonna be able to get a bug net because that's like 300 and something <laughs> I have no idea how uh, this is gonna work Okay, uh, you want to buy my shovels? Oh, yeah, okay. Here's the issue. I don't know how many I have Basic shovel basic shovel. Oh, okay. They stacked. Oh No, I can sell and then I've got these ones here. Oh, weird. Okay. Uh, and then stone sells for one. Coal. I'm not going to sell all this stuff. Grass sells for one. Um, the, the chalk sells for two, but I need that for stuff. But again, it's it's not really worth selling. Uh, so I have 164. 
it does seem to me to be worth selling if I start getting up into that range. Yeah, Backpack's 588. I think it's going to be a bit before I need the backpack. Uh, I do think this is, what is it, 348. Okay. That's probably the most viable thing I need. So, let's, uh, I don't know. Let's go see if anybody, the buddy here has anything. What's going on? Oh, hey there. What should I do? Uh, hmm, you done much fishing? Okay. So, I do not have a fishing rod. So, how do I get one? Let's see here. I guess I'll go talk to the other new people as well. So I see a net. Is the net... That's a bug net though, right? Yeah, okay. So that's not a fishing rod item. Um, so it's not on the menu yet, I guess. Is there any special orders I can do here? Hmm. Interesting. All right, well, let's head out and talk to uh, everybody else. Maybe they have something they want me to do. Now, um, let's check out our grumpy friend here. Nope, they're not home. But I think we're going to write a novel while they're gone. And we'll leave it, we'll make it really creepy. Like, we didn't do it. What do you mean? Oh, we can move stuff around. That's, uh, it's kind of obnoxious. But also, maybe our, that's our, uh-oh. Okay. There you go. Uh, so, running seems to be able to get you out of a pinch, which is good. That's, I guess, your way of, like, pushing your way past stuff. Just run at it. Wow, uh, okay, hold up. Actually, you know what, that's, no, that's just, like, toys or something on the floor. Hey, buddy. Oleander. I decided I should try to get the, f get fit the other day. Now everything aches. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Ah, good day to you, Hodge. Okay, no, nothing. Uh, but we do have our, um, our, our lucky tree is back. All right. Now I do. I'm guessing this. My lucky tree here should not spawn back in. I have a feeling. But that does make me question then, um, what you do for the second, third day, and like there's literally no resources. I, I keep I do kind of feel like I'm missing something like is there an area I can access or something I'm kind of like an obvious thing I'm missing but I don't kind of think there is I think there's a weird lull in between waiting for those flowers to come up and finding out anything okay well we get this again again uh, this doesn't seem right but so without the this uh, this tree here though there seems to be I, I again I, I feel like I might be missing something. Like it's am I slow here, Sally? Where to put that hammer? Uh well I'm not giving you mine. I don't have a hammer anyway. Okay, can I craft anything yet? Oh uh yeah, we can make three wooden planks. That's gonna give me one more shovel. <laughs> this is my life now. My life is it's shovel life. Oh, um and uh grab another tree. There we go. So how many are we getting per? I have not really paid attention. So we got four wooden logs per. So you need to hit like three trees in order to get enough planks to do one. Does need nine planks? Nine. No. Yeah. Something like that. All right. Uh, hmm. I'm not sure. Let's go in here. Oh, hey, here's a new person. Benny. Oh, hello. Um, how's it going? Great. Ah, oh, okay, good, good. You? I don't know. Honestly, it works a lot of a hassle and barely pays a rent. I just, you know, feel like I'm trapped. That's no good. Yeah, well, I don't know. Not sure what else to do, really. I've been so tired I actually fell asleep on the train. Ended up here. Haha, <laughs> sounds familiar, Hodge? Benny. What's that? Ah, oh, nothing. <laughs> Just Hodge ended up here in very much the same way. Is that so? Maybe there's something drawing us here, eh? You know, I'm happy I missed my stop, actually. It's a really nice little town you've got here. What? Oh, I don't know. I suppose it would be nice. It's certainly a lot more peaceful here. Might be a little tricky right now, actually. There's not really anywhere for you to live. Well, that does make things a bit trickier. You know what? I can wait. When you've got a house going, I'll grab it. I've had enough work in myself to the bone. Time for a big change. Hooray! 
Heh. <laughs> Don't get too carried away. There's still nowhere for me to live yet, but yeah, this is, uh, this could be good. Thanks for, you know, convincing me. Hmm. We should see if we can get a hold of a realtor. You know, I'm not, I'm sure more folks might like to move to town. There was a lady who used to come by some evenings. Not seen her for a while, though. You never know, maybe she'll come by one day. Perhaps you can work your charm on her too, eh, Hodge? Ha ha ha. Okay, that's, is that it? So I'm at noon here. Let's have to head back out. We may have triggered something else. See if anything else is going on over here. Anything going on, buddy? Oh, Hodge. I want, oh, no, I don't want to sell. Well, you know what? I do want to sell one of my shovels. We're 196. <laughs> I, again, I don't feel like this is probably how you're supposed to play the early game. That if I had a guess... The fact that you can sell stuff, it does seem important, but the fact that I'm getting this mostly through hacking down my uh, my illegal tree here, um, it suggests to me I shouldn't be able to do this. Um, but um, I, at the same time, I'm kind of like, I don't want to just like go to sleep because it's only noon. So it'd be, it's very odd to me that we would not be able to say, um, get doing anything else. Wrench? He still wants his wrench, or she still wants. I I don't know where where her wrench is. Um, and again, it doesn't seem like there's really any way to find out, which is really curious. All right, but again, and it, this is interesting, and I I think um, to me very telling as early access has come to mean I think different things to different people. And it's, it's hard to know exactly what early access means. I want to hit those things over there. I'm guessing I'm going to get to build some kind of bridge structure at some point. Just not yet. Um, but it, yeah, what, uh, what early access means to one person means doesn't mean to another person. And so this idea of, um, yeah, oh my gosh, of like how polished do we expect this thing to be? Like, I'd say visually it's fairly polished. Um, I'm a little weirded out that, like, there doesn't seem to be anything else to do for the day, and that I can just hack at this really dodgy tree here uh, repeatedly, which I probably shouldn't be able to do. But also, that seems like an obvious thing that would have been caught, so it seems like it's been left here on purpose. Um, I, I don't know, it's weird. I, and also, like, you are left with kind of no... It's a, in a game where you are left to... Um, again, I assume all this will change. This is I'm just spitballing here. I'm not criticizing the game outright um, because this isn't the final form. This is just, uh, you know, work in progress. I, I suspect in the early game, when, you're, when your game is about quest lines and about um, crafting and gathering, that you're going to have a lot of... Um, things put in front of you. There's going to be a breadcrumb trail. And I, I feel like the breadcrumb trail fell apart rather quickly. <laughs> the wheels came off almost immediately on that one. That That's kind of weird. Um, but I can see that just mechanically getting... I mean, this game... The game's very nicely... It's very beautiful. It's very well done. Like, there's... It, it has a polish to it, like, stylistically. But um, ga gameplay-wise... It, it, it seems to be lacking, but we'll see. Uh, but if the idea that I either have to do this or I have to go to sleep a bunch of days for no reason, like it's noon, I shouldn't be going to bed. If there's literally, like, the world's too small to explore and there's nothing else to do but go to sleep, that is bonkers. So there's definitely some balance issues, I think, in the early days here. Um, doesn't turn me off it. I'm, I'm, I'm imagining what's going to happen is we're going to sort of slingshot, where we're going to catch up with um, what there is to do. My guess is that we're also going to blow past it rather quickly because uh, I think if it hasn't been polished narratively or quest line <laughs> the quest line hasn't been all figured out at this point. That means it's it's kind of being balanced and worked on and yeah. Uh, anyway, interesting. I'm I I love game design. I like as as not as a doer because I've never made a game, but as a person that enjoys games and I like early, I like early access games because you do get to see this process happen and it's kind of magical and that's why I also feel like you know you, one can't be too um, critical about these things because like I don't make games excuse me there Sally 
I, I have no idea. So I can't really be, you know, too critical about anything. Um, but I can state the obvious, I guess, which is, yeah, there's some, something happens between day one and two where our breadcrumb trail breaks. We have no ability to make an economy except selling our legal tree um, uh, winnings here. So I made a total of how many? Eight shovels. So this should get me, like, enough. <laughs> okay, we have $452. I can get a, uh, buy a bug net. So now I can get bug netting. So let's go catch some bugs. Um, but yeah, that's pretty jank. That's that's kind of messed up that I had to do that to get a bug net. And then either I, I shouldn't be allowed to get uh, anything until later, but then there has to be filler between then and now. Okay, and how does bug catching work? Oh yeah, peacock, new record. Oh, I see. Well, I'm going to build a little collection. That's cute. I'm assuming I can't use it. No, it's only for bugs. <laughs> Let's head down by the beach, because I we saw more down there, and then there's probably some more up here as well. Okay. Um, we got a Duke of Burgundy. Okay. Um, there we go. Painted Lady. Oh no, your backpack is full. Uh, make space. What? I have 11 trees now. Okay, yeah, I guess it's just kind of glitchy. Um, uh, what do I want to drop here? I'm going to drop uh, the clay. Um, there we go. Okay, so I guess I'll go and uh, sell some resources. I don't know what else we want to do with this stuff. Oh, excuse me there. So we'll go and dump this off and then we'll see if that enables us to buy a new backpack or something. So yeah, I do get that there's there's a little bumpy step we should have uh, bypassed there. Okay. Um, so this they sell for like nine. Th that sells for a pretty good price actually. And uh, let's sell the grass. Grass tuft. Chalk. I'm assuming I'll see more of that. Um, like, I'm assuming the stuff spawns back in. Uh, I'm just going to hold on to that for a sec. It's worth $195, which means I'll buy the backpack upgrade as soon as I can here. And then we'll see what happens with our... our uh, oh, um, put that back equipped. Okay, let's now head back over probably to the beach, although there might be some, like right here. And you. Swallowtail. Okay, cool. Uh, uh, let's zoom out as much as we can. There we go. Oh, yeah, we were able to pick. Okay, that's not bad. So if you drop, if you need to drop something because you just simply are running out of inventory, uh, it's not such a thing to come back and get it. Stone. Okay. Okay, oh, and here we go. Here's another one. Duke of Burgundy. Nothing around there. Definitely some fishies. Oh, here's another, another one. What is that? Duke of Burgundy. So yeah, I'm guessing, and do these stack? These stack too. So it's probably relatively easy to um, just kind of camp somewhere around here and uh, end up getting a whole pile. Yeah, they spawn in pretty quick. Um, yeah, I think, you know, uh, I think what I feel like we, well, again, we'll see in the next few days here. I think we've got an interesting proof of concept here, um, but it is, I think there's, especially some of the games I've played lately in early access, I feel like it's maybe raised the bar for our expectation for a certain amount of, it's, it's interesting, like early access is meant, meant for a game that's in development for sure, but it's a question of how much uh, 
how much content or how polished do we expect that thing to be? Is it just a point where the games might have some bugs and we're gonna live with that or is it the point where the game has uh, a lot of development still? I do see it's published by Team 17 which is you know they're they put out lots of things they're very well known I am if, if I'm not mistaken my time at Porsche and Overcooked and things like that if I remember I might be off on that don't quote me on that um, but they're not a tiny company I mean maybe they are <laughs> they don't seem like a tiny company so it's uh yeah I it sometimes early access stuff you feel like gets put into early access because um, you know the developer needs the uh, resources or, or does you know needs the cash while they're continuing to work on the game and that's I think totally acceptable I think that's like you know that's great uh, that's what it's for in many ways uh, but I feel like when you when you've got a, a successful publisher behind you you maybe need a more of a workable slice I don't know I, I think these things are probably there's many opinions I'm sure on these things there's probably uh, lots of controversial opinions to be had oh. okay we got another one okay let's go and see if we can just upgrade our backpack because that's a decent amount of things uh, I don't know how much these things sell for let's find out um, hmm okay and that okay and that one sells for 12 and the purple emperors there we go I've got 323 we don't quite have enough yet this thing is what 588 yeah it would take a little bit more I think of uh, catching butterflies here um, again I can't <laughs> yeah this this unequipping thing is weird um, Okay, small blue butterfly. Oh. Yeah, I've I've noticed that just over the years of playing early access stuff out, or I guess when it went from what was it, Steam Greenlight or something, and then early access became a thing. And it's interesting. I don't understand like exactly what it's uh, exactly what is aimed at. I think everyone uses it slightly differently. See, this is where I wish you could rotate your camera because that's really hard to hit. You don't know exactly where it is. Um, are you there? Yeah, okay, it was on the bush. Kind of hard to see field of depth there. Um, yeah, I don't know I, uh, exactly how to uh, to look at games that are in early access in a way. Um, I just assume that they're not complete. But I, there have been some where they're like pretty polished, and you're like, like this is pretty polished uh, visually. I don't, and sometimes they're, uh, yeah, they're they're polished both visually and uh, it seems like the bulk of the game is there. All right, I don't know that I want to just spend the whole day getting butterflies. We'll see. I don't know if any other interesting. Okay, there's one there. Can't quite get it. I might have to go up on the hill. No, I think I'll just wait for it. There we go. Brimstone. What else do we have down here? Well, it's good to see no, there's no more rocks spawning in, which is good. I was thinking, I was like, oh, I hope that doesn't just happen, because then you'd be way too encouraged to just sit here and just, yeah, <laughs> just camp and, and smash rocks. Uh, the bugs make more sense in terms of a respawnable thing, because bugs come out of nowhere. Rocks don't. Okay, little butterfly. There we are. Um, okay, Whoa. oh, hello. Yeah, I think I have, uh, it's, uh, I think over the, the years of seeing early access, it, I definitely also have varying, um, I have a, a, I think a reasonably high threshold for, for early access, but I think there has been some very good successes out of early access that have kind of spoiled us, spoiled me, where I'm, I go, okay, like my bar is a bit higher maybe now. And that might be unfair. So I am I'm kind of questioning that of myself, of like, how hard can I be on uh, a game? Okay, and four of those, and two of those. We're at 407. 
Now, I think we're going to just go and see if anyone's at the realty. Is that realtor here or whatever they were talking about? They're not. Hey there, what should I do? Uh, hmm. Okay, no. I, I don't... No one's told me about the fishing. Tell me about... Villager requests the inn. Tell me about the inn. Ah, yes. Well, around lunchtime and evenings, I open up the inn. I serve some simple dishes, and often residents come to eat. What is evening? Because I kind of... This is what I'm sort of wanting to see. Oh, you know what I can do? Let's go in and do this. Because I noticed this when I went to bed. We can sleep for... Uh, say six hours. So it should be evening. Okay, it's like, that's yeah, 10. It might be a bit late. Oh, is it too late? Hey there. Uh, I must have, I slept too long. Rats. I should have done a couple batches of two hours. Okay, so 2200 is when it closes. Oh, interesting. I guess the inn sort of shuts up. All right, well, I think what I'm going to do is go to sleep and, uh, I think we'll give it uh, another day here and we'll see if uh, what gets moving. And if not, not, I think I'll just play it quick. I think we'll go back to sleep. I'm not going to doll around next time. I was curious what sort of would happen here. And um, yeah, I guess what I need to do is just maybe you can just crash. And because a bigger rat cock's not going to get me anything. I need those things to grow in and all that. So we'll sleep a day or two and then we'll see. Because I'd like to just sort of push the narrative forward and see what actually exists in the game. Uh, I, I don't think we're going to go terribly far into the game, because my suspicion is that it isn't there. But I would like to at least see what has been built so far. Um, at any rate, we will see you all next time. Till then, bye-bye.